Hello guys, it's Miglev back again and welcome back to another video. This will be a video about the top 10 leather armors in RotMG and it was a while ago since I did a top 10 video, but I'm here for the last armor video for you. Before we go into the video, check out my 4000 gold giveaway if you want to get a shot on some free gold and let's jump straight into the video. Well, when I started researching this video, I saw that there is a lot of different leather armors out there. I think this is one of the most uh, common armors in the game. Like there are the most variants of the armor, uh, UT and ST. And it was pretty hard coming uh, to a top 10 list. So I will have uh, honorable mentions. And one of the honorable mentions is just nostalgia for me. And yeah, let's start with the honorable mentions. Well... The first honorable mention we have is Sea Silk. I love this armor. I think it is a decent armor for your uh, beginner character. It's not that much endgame anymore, but I remember back in the days when this was the armor you used over on Hydra because it gave the extra speed. And on the bow classes especially, you didn't have a lot of speed, so any extra speed you could get was just a nice bonus. Then for the second honorable mention, we have the Wormhide. I think this armor is pretty boring having it in the top 10s. It's a viable armor and it can uh, be replaced in the top like six um, armors, like the sixth spot to 10. Uh, it can replace any of those armors. If you want to use the Wormhide, you can use it and it won't be a problem. Number 10, Spectral Cloth Armor. This armor drops from the David Jones and is pretty easy to come by and that's why it got on the list. I think it's a pretty decent armor, giving you both attack, defense, speed and dexterity. It gives a little bit less speed than the Sea Silk, but it gives the extra 3 attack that you don't get with the Sea Silk. Both for how easy it is to get and uh, the viability of the armor, I think this serves a spot on the list. But there are a lot of other armors that just beat this one, so that's why it's on the number 10. Number 9, we have the Tene. The Tene is a pretty weird armor. Um, it's actually called Hiruju Tene. And it gives 9 defense, which is very low, but 8 attack and 8 dexterity. Before we had the Centaur shielding and other better DPS armors in the game. This was the one to use if you wanted to maximize maximize your damage, and I think it's still via, viable for some situations. If you have it, it's pretty rare, I haven't gotten it myself, but it's just a DPS armor. I'm not the one who likes to play with the fully DPS gear, so this armor is not for me, but it's a viable armor for those who likes to get the extra DPS stats on your character. Number 8, Luminous Armor. This armor is the other way around of the Tenet. This gives 200 HP, 5 speed and 5 vitality. Not a single uh, attack or dexterity on this armor. You will only get 5 speed, 5 vitality and 200 HP. So this is the one that is viable for those endgame characters. Uh, this could be useful at the Shatter's third boss. Uh, the phase where you are sick and you have to dodge and as well as in celestial at the o3 i i haven't used this armor myself in situations because i have always had the, the, the leviathan armor or better ones but it's it's viable in some situations where you do need a lot of hp uh, it doesn't give it any defense so running around with this in uh, an abyss or godlands for example is not maybe the best idea but at some situations you do need a lot of hp and this is just a good al alternative for those situations combined with the decker ring you'll get 390 hp plus which is just insane uh, and can give you a chance at surviving some phases before we go into the number seven please subscribe to the channel if you're new here there are just 20 uh, percent average on uh, the channel that's subscribed so subscribe to the channel if you're new here let's right jump into number seven number seven hollow hook hide well 
this is a very weird armor. It came pretty recently, uh, at least in my view of the game's history. Uh, it gives 10 defense, 8 dexterity, 5 vitality, and 3 speed. And uh, when you shoot, you uh, have a 10% chance on receiving 10 extra dexterity. And I think this is pretty all right armor. The sprite looks amazing. Uh, some could argue that the luminous hide or the tenna or spectral could be over this, but I kind of like this uh, proc that the armor gives with the, the dexterity boost, which is just nice all around. One could say worm hide should be over this, but I didn't include worm hide. I wanted to have some ST armors in here. Um, at the later stages of the tier list, we will of course only have UTs. Number six, turncoat cape. This is a pretty decent armor that got released with the Oryx 3 release and it drops from the Gemspock mini boss. And it's a very situational armor giving 18 defense and 10 speed, which is amazing for some classes that need speed, for example Huntress or Archer. But when you do take damage uh, over 30 damage, you will get in invisible for 3 seconds. The cooldown is five seconds and combining this with the ring from the gem spock the monocle it's pretty all, all right but it's only situational maybe for some characters maybe like trickster or you have the rogue uh, i wouldn't use this on that many uh, other uh, leather armor classes maybe archer and huntress since those classes only have 50 speed so I would either use this with the monocle only, or just for the 10 speed that it gives. Yeah, at number 5 we have Armor of Nil. This is a armor that got the buff recently, it was pretty bad before, but now it gives 26 defense and minus 3 speed. I wouldn't use this on Huntress or Archer for example, maybe on some of the faster classes like Rogue or Trickster, that do take a lot of damage, maybe the Ninja as well since you have the ability to run around very fast, you could use this for the extra defense boost. It's a very simple armor and does nothing else than that. It's pretty all right. I like the sprite of it. It looks pretty nice and better uh, than some of the other armors up here. But let's jump into number four. Number four, Leaf Dragon Hide Armor. I think this is very controversial to have up here. I do like this armor for giving not that much defense, but it gives 50 HP on equip. You also get 6 speed and 5 vitality, which is also a nice boost. So having this on the Huntress or Archer, for example, could be a viable option. But when uh, you use your ability, you will get a 15 defense boost for 5 seconds and the cooldown is 15 seconds. Not that frequent of a proc, but I do like it because you do get 6 extra speed, which is impactful for your character, and also 50 HP, and sometimes you get will get some extra defense for that lacking of 13 defense that the armor do have. What do you think about this armor? Should it be higher or lower? Comment down below. Okay, number 3. Now we're getting into a really picky uh, list here but at the number three spot i've chosen to have the centaur's shielding this armor drops from besa and it's one of the best leather armors in the game it also gives 13 defense as the leaf dragon hide armor it gives five attack and seven dexterity which is almost like the tane uh, which is really good for dps stats and on shoot, you will get an attack boost plus 12 attacks on self for 4.5 seconds. But this uh, attack you do get is only when you have the healing status effect. So you could use this with the star uh, from Besa if you are a ninja that gives you healing. Or use this armor in a large group. Because often priest will have a tier tome which gives healing or a paladin. So you will often have the extra attack bonus in a group play. So this is a great option if you want to do some extra damage. It's on the low side on the defense. It doesn't give an HP. Which is a problem uh, I think. But uh, attack bonus is pretty nice. So if you want. This is a mix between a 10 and a more like heavier armor with some more defense number two leviathan armor well here is the tier 15 armor 
gives you 21 defense and 7 dexterity, which is a good uh, combination of both defensive stats and uh, aggressive stats or DPS stats. 7 dexterity is pretty nice. That was also my Discord. I'm sorry for this. The XP bonus is 8%, which is also pretty nice. And it drops pretty frequent from Orcs 3. And it also drops from the Forgotten King in the Shatters. This is just a good overall armor that is you can always use on any character uh, if you have the Shatters armor or center shielding. Maybe in some situations those are better. But this is just the baseline good armor. Of course, it's the tiered armors, all the tiered armors the top tier it's just good overall and i wouldn't complain if you would use this over the shatters armor or santo shielding or leaf dragon hide or nil armor number one like the video if you want to see it i will show it either way sorry for the discord sound well at number one spot we have the vest of abandoned shadows so this armor drops from the tablets before the third boss in the shatters and drops from the minions in the shatters and can also be craftable with the forge. The armor gives you 50 HP, 15 defense and 15 vitality, which is just a good combination of stats. No aggressive stats, no dexterity or attack here, but you do get 50 HP, which is something I like for armors to give some extra HP. And it gives you 15 defense, which is a middle ground of defense on the leather armors and 15 vitality, which is pretty nice. On shoot, when in combat, you gain armor for 4 seconds. This is not the best Shatter's armors, it's the worst out of them 3, I think. But I, I do like this leather armor because of the armored ability uh, for Ninja, for example, or Trickster. This can be very useful. And even if you don't have the reactive proc, if you take it away, the armor is still very nice it's very defensive and i like defensive armors in realm but do you agree with my list should i have the uh, picking the nail armor uh, at the number four spot instead of leather dragon hide armor or something else comment down below i will answer the questions you have so i'll see you guys in another video don't forget to check out my 4000 gold giveaway and i have some other videos on the way so be on the lookout for that you can put on on the notification bell if you would like to well bye bye have a nice weekend and i'll see you later